<laughs> I'm being dropped into one of the most isolated corners of the world. This parched and rugged wilderness is on Australia's northwestern coast. It's a hot and unforgiving environment. Before I can enter her ancestral land, Janet, an Aboriginal elder, must cover me with ochre. You become what with us. The land will protect you. A welcome like this is a great honor. Temperatures here can reach 40 degrees Celsius, and without water, I'll quickly dehydrate. It's an area full of deadly creatures, including the saltwater crocodile, one of the most ferocious animals on the planet. Words cannot describe how I feel right now. Being alone here is a daunting prospect. It's important I stay calm and focused. My first priority is to move to high ground and get a better idea of my surroundings. Wow. It's the most barren coast. This is the month before the wet season. So everything is dry, dry, dry. And the fruits aren't in season. And that's gonna make it even bigger of a challenge for me. But all that aside, this is extraordinarily beautiful. Okay, water has gotta be my first priority. I can see the main canyon goes up there. So if I head towards the upstream end of that, hopefully I can get down into it and get some water that isn't seawater that I can actually drink. The further upstream I push, the fresher the water will be. I was thinking that the upper region would be a trickle of water, but the, the bed is dry. The bed is dry and... It's nearly 40 Celsius. I'm sweating 3% of my body weight every hour. At this rate, four hours without water could be enough to kill me. I found water. It's standing, but it looks very clean. Age old debate about standing water. Despite the risk, I can't afford to wait any longer. That's fantastic. Might not seem like the ultimate survival priority, but I've had a drink of water now. I'm rehydrated. I need some way of covering myself, so um, I'm going to make myself a little grass skirt. Strip all of the leaves so that they haven't got any sharp edges on them, and then uh, use the, the fleshy green part to hopefully make a bit of a skirt. Okay, I've got a grass skirt. And I think I should... Uh, head back and over towards the coast and look for food. There's white marks all over the wall, like oyster beds, and I can eat oysters raw, which is great. Oysters are high in vitamins and protein, but they contain very few calories. I'd have to eat hundreds to get the 3,000 calories I need every day. It's funny, I don't normally like oysters, but it's amazing, even just a day's worth of no food, and um, they're good. But I've only got time for a handful. Light is fading fast, and I need to get back to the canyon. <sighs> Probably half an hour's walk, so I need to get going right now. And the sun gets so low in the horizon so quickly. I can't really dither around. Shoot, this is not good. Where the hell is the canyon? I'm back at my campsite, but making a shelter now is out of the question. What else can you do but lie down and just lie down on the floor? <clears throat> I can feel little insects biting my head and biting my bum as well. It's going to be a long, uncomfortable night. <coughs> Good morning. Not a brilliant night in terms of virtually no sleep whatsoever. Um, rather weirdly, um, I've woken up and found a, um, a dead mouse. 
think I literally did just crush it in the night. And bite my bum as well. <clears throat> I'm a big, hefty body. <laughs> Check that away. Before it gets too hot, I'm going to scout the area. As ever, keeping a watch fly out for cocks. But this water is very low indeed and very clear. It's an easy walk now, but in two hours, the incoming tide will race across here. <laughs> First two steps and I was knee deep in clay. Right, I'll have to carefully pick my way across. It's not the best clay on earth. It's got a lot of sand in it, but I'm just wondering whether this would be good sand protection. Any protection is welcome. UV levels here are extreme. My skin could burn in minutes. Every step is a struggle. I'm hoping it's worth the effort and I can find something useful over here. This must be an old plastic uh, fishing float, maybe? It's obviously not meant to be a water receptacle, but if I was to get a sharp stick and smash it into the top, or maybe when I get a fire going, burn a hole into the top, then it would certainly store water. I want to cross back to the shelter of the canyon before the tide comes in. Parrot. Pushing into the canyon, I make a welcome discovery. I oh, know, that's what you call a billabong. I thought when I came here that I wasn't going to be able to swim at all because of the threat of saltwater crocodiles. But there's absolutely no way the salties can get up this far, so I'm going to have a good swim. Oh, that is beautiful. Woohoo! Oh, wow! That is quite wonderful. Moments like this help me keep a cool head. That was fantastic. Let's go, Stas. Let's go. My feet are cut to shreds. My feet are fairly cut up at the moment. Fairly painful. I've invested all my energy in the move, and I have to plough on. With the state of your feet, you, you can't afford to um, can't afford to travel long distances now, Ed. I'm shattered and empty-handed. Time to have a little lie down, Ed. I think. In a survival situation, you have to know when to cut your losses. I need to pick myself up, and I've spotted some food closer to home. <laughs> Boab trees are not found anywhere else in Australia. Pound for pound, their fruit is one of the most energy-rich foods in the world. Okay. Right, you can see there's nuts, and I think those nuts have to be roasted in the fire, but you're meant to be able to chew the pith away. It tastes like cardboard. With six times more vitamin C than oranges, they're a vital boost to my immune system. I reckon those are going to be good roasted in the fire. I've got nuts this evening for supper, and lo and behold, I find a little crag in the rock which has got fresh sea salt. So tonight, instead of just roasted nuts, I've got roasted salted nuts. I've got no matches and no lighter. But making fire by friction in this dry climate shouldn't be a problem. I'm using the fire plow. Oh my God. Fire! Fire, fire. Fire! fire. Yeah! We got fire. <sighs> Roasted salted nuts, Edward. You're spoiling yourself. Really nice, especially with the sea salt. Can't get enough of these. I literally can't stop eating. 
So it's like halfway between an almond and popcorn. Heaven. Pure heaven. I'm sitting at the back of my house on the back doorstep and you spin the camera around and the whole of the bay is in front of me. <sighs> was it worth, was it worth all of that labouring in the hot sun? Yes, it was. Extraordinary feeling. And I'm just straight over the bay and I can sit here in the evenings <laughs> Oh, I contemplate life. <laughs> such, such a good move. Utterly, utterly stunning.